Jeden ze stopiek. So I'm going to tell you about uh, GeoTrees. Uh, this is initiative uh, <coughs> which uh, uh, bring, bringing together and bridging between two community, one remote sensing, uh, people who are interested in uh, accurate uh, ground data for calibration and validation, uh, biomass maps and uh, canopy height maps, and uh, from other side, <coughs> ecological community who wants to ensure um, sustainable funding to continue measurements on the ground. And uh, here, <coughs> our uh, initiative trying to mm, to do this job exactly uh, here is uh, some people but of course a big community behind uh, i would just uh, mention a few of them like uh, jerome Schaff, uh, who is uh, leading uh, <coughs> this initiative and also mention few people you can meet here at the conference like uh, uh, Martin Herald uh, presenting also here and uh, together with Arnan <coughs> Araza uh, who are doing um, uh, developing uh, tools for validation. Also you might saw uh, Gilberto Camara uh, here who uh, actually uh, helped uh, establish connection with a uh, group of Earth observation. And of course uh, our YASA uh, people uh, like me, uh, responsible from YASA side uh, in this uh, <coughs> project, uh, we are doing uh, data hosting and uh, providing open data for community. So our <coughs> database and web portal elaborated here with support of uh, Martina and Anto listed here. Uh, and also uh, Florian Hofhansel here in the room, who is our <coughs> tropical forest uh, uh, expert uh, and providing also um, ground data and expertise for this project. And uh, Stefan Fritz uh, also presenting here, who was uh, uh, one of uh, funded members of this initiative already quite some <coughs> years ago. Uh, Speaking about uh, motivation of this work, why <coughs> do we need uh, uh, trustable ground data for remote sensing community? Here is uh, listed uh, some missions, uh, space missions, which specifically designed to measure biomass and canopy height. And uh, as you know, we cannot uh, estimate, uh, uh, we cannot measure biomass from the space. You can only estimate it uh, for some parameters, uh, either LIDAR or RADAR <coughs> or color, or vegetation indexes. Uh, and uh, we need uh, uh, some uh, ground truth data to validate it. Uh, there are uh, some good news uh, if you are in, uh, interested in the JEDI data. It's uh, again uh, m <coughs> starting m collect data this year after being stored at the International Space uh, Station for some years. And also <coughs> we got a good news from a biomass mission which uh, previously was uh, scheduled at the end of next year, but now it's... Uh, uh, the launch date uh, expected in uh, April, so even earlier, <coughs> which is which is good. Uh, I would also mention uh, uh, biomass map harmonization activity uh, between space agency, like here it's mostly collaboration between <coughs> NASA, ESA, and JAXA, trying to uh, put efforts together and. Uh, uh, to have some complementarity, like uh, ESA is going to launch this uh, uh, P-band uh, radar <coughs> satellite. Uh, there is a L-band uh, satellite from uh, JAXA and uh, also uh, LiDAR and uh, uh, radar satellite from NASA <coughs> and uh, put uh, together activities. Uh, here is the portal and uh, also uh, they elaborate this uh, uh, map, uh, multi-mission algorithm and analysis platform <coughs> uh, 
where um, supposed all the data and uh, even tools for processing data will be stored. Yeah, this is uh, another activity to uh, produce a <coughs> uh, pro protocol how to uh, properly validate uh, remote sense based uh, maps uh, published uh, already <coughs> a few years ago. Uh, and the major points uh, uh, in this protocol, this data uh, should be traceable, validation, uh, large forest plots needed uh, more than one hectare because most of the forest plots used currently are smaller size, but we uh, trying to convince uh, uh, that uh, big plots are needed and also um, complemented not only uh, classical measurements, but also complemented by airborne and terrestrial <coughs> radar data. Also quite important to make data free and open that uh, everyone can use it. Uh, GeoTrees, uh, here is presented some uh, uh, structure and uh, what uh, most Im important we <coughs> do collect data about classical <coughs> forest census when you measure DBH, uh, define tree species and height and with uh, terrestrial LiDAR information and uh, uh, airborne LiDAR information. The good news is that we don't start from the scratch, not uh, starting collect data, but rather involve uh, existing ecological network in this process. Like here is uh, four major networks who are taking part of this initiative. Uh, they have already quite uh, some data, but it's not so easy to convince uh, even partners of the project to share the data because of course uh, lots of efforts uh, and uh, money is spent to collect this data and um, uh, we consider very important to uh, find a, uh, sustainable funding to continue this work. Like in the tropics they say it uh, makes sense to have a census every four or five years because a lot of changes happen and better to monitor to re-measure <coughs> plots and so on. It's uh, just a uh, month ago in New York Times uh, uh, was a uh, <coughs> article uh, featuring uh, people who are working currently for also for our project collect data, data in the tropics <coughs> and you see the uh, headlines quite impressive like uh, sizing up Earth lungs and other stuff. <coughs> so this uh, work what we are uh, doing is uh, also high in the agenda. Uh, at YASA we are not only hosting the data and providing open access but we also collect uh, mm, data and uh, mm, at least for uh, here listed uh, uh, countries, data provided uh, by us or coordinated by us. Uh, I also would mention that we uh, have a, had a long-term collaboration with uh, Russia and uh, now data <coughs> delivering it uh, stops, uh, but we still observe what is going on there. So actually a large scale uh, national uh, project is going on in Russia, uh, which called Rhythm Carbon and there is a link here. And at, at some point I believe uh, data will be also available for our community and through our portal as well. Uh, uh, if you wanted to... Uh -huh. Yeah, here is a, a, a portal, data geotrees. Uh, so you can, of course, of co uh, go to the geotrees org uh, and then click on uh, button data, and you will uh, end up with uh, this portal, data geotrees, uh, hosted at Yasa. Here you can see uh, plot location. <coughs> you can click any plot and see <coughs> description of the plot, link to data provider, to uh, institution collected the data 
and also um, plot level information, biomass and uh, canopy height. This major parameter, two major parameters which we are hosting, making available and so on. You can also download the data, but we ask to, uh, to download the data, register it, that we can monitor who is using data and for which purposes. So far, uh, you can find uh, uh, over 300 locations in our database, uh, uh, but big plots are divided by subplots. Uh, uh, which is the size of uh, 50 by 50 meters. That's why uh, number of subplots uh, 1,800. Uh, and total area you see over 400 uh, 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 hectares. On this uh, plots, uh, every tree is measured, and then we calculated average for um, subplot information, biomass height and uh, biomass and height of the trees and store in the, the database. And also quite important that we have accurate uh, geolocation, which is uh, very important for uh, all validation work. In other features, what is uh, <coughs> uh, uh, make us uh, different from other initiatives that uh, we um, process all the data with same software, it's biomass air package. Uh, mentioned here, and you uh, using this work package, you, you can collate uh, biomass from tree level to plot level with uh, uncertainties and also calculate it with uh, several methods, uh, and all this can be tracked down. Uh, telling more specifically uh, uh, which data we are co collecting and also if you have data we can discuss how to host your data here or get uh, access to existing data. So we uh, look for uh, permanent plots with a minimum size of uh, quarter hectare, so uh, 50 by 50 meters, uh, but preferably it uh, should be at least one hectare plots. Uh, accurate geolocation, so we recorded uh, coordinates of every corner several times and you more or less <coughs> know your location. And then every tree has uh, got uh, species identification, DBH, uh, and in most cases also height, or at least DBH height uh, relationship. <coughs> and output, what you can find in our Database, as I mentioned, this is uh, coordinates, uh, canopy height, uh, top height, and average height of the canopy, and the background biomass. Uh, we already have uh, some history, so initiative started in uh, 2015. Uh, first, it was a long uh, cost negotiation between networks and different users uh, and the data provider. Uh, then, uh, at some point, we mm, published a, a data paper with 150 quarters. Uh, uh, all uh, data providers was uh, involved in this uh, paper, and uh, this uh, data package published in Nature Scientific Data. Uh, then we also start hosted not only uh, um, uh, classical sensors, but uh, data from airborne LiDAR. And now we are, um, uh, got this uh, name, GeoTrees, uh, quite recently, and decided to go more in deep in uh, this concept of uh, um, super sites. Uh, what uh, is in included in this uh, uh, super site? So it, it should be at least uh, 10 uh, uh, hectare plots in, uh, in this location, in the super sites, uh, representing uh, landscape, the different uh, type of uh, landscape available in this region. Uh, on this uh, 10 hectares, uh, every tree is measured by diameter, three species. Then uh, it should be at least uh, <coughs> three hectares uh, of uh, terrestrial laser scan scanning, mm, high quality, and uh, at least uh, 10 square kilometers of uh, airborne laser scanning. 
this initiative also got uh, support from uh, Bezos uh, Foundation. Uh, they give quite some money to establish about 100 of such a plots uh, in the tropics. Uh, work is already started. Uh, I show uh, previously a newspaper about uh, ongoing work and uh, all this data will be processed uh, in a uh, uh, transparent way uh, through uh, our tools which will be uh, uh, partly developed and will be uh, enhanced uh, in the future and then hosted at YASA open for everyone who is interested in this uh, work. Yeah, this uh, example what uh, already um, you can see in our uh, web portal data geotrees <coughs> here is represented a big plot uh, uh, like uh, 500 by 500 meters uh, it's divided by 50 by 50 meters subplots you have a value of every uh, subplots about biomass economy height and sometimes even in homogeneous forest uh, the difference in biomass it can be five uh, four, four, four times you might have one plot with 100 uh, tons of biomass and next plot will be 400. Uh, so it's uh, very important uh, to have also some structure and uh, variability of uh, natural forest. And over there you see this is uh, airborne uh, uh, LIDAR based uh, biomass map um, with also uh, 50 meter resolution made. Uh, our data accessible not only through portal, data jet trees portal, you can also use this uh, map platform, which I mentioned already, uh, uh, which built uh, uh, together with NASA and ESA. Uh, here you can uh, see uh, different uh, maps available and also on top of that uh, our data you can call and have uh, our plots and uh, here you can also see a plot in Costa Rica which uh, collected by um, Florian Hofhansel sitting in this room <coughs> yeah uh, of course it's uh, you can download data and compare with uh, currently available global uh, maps uh, it's not a very recent uh, figure, but anyway, you can see uh, for uh, maps uh, global uh, and uh, how they uh, fit to the our data. Most of the uh, existing map have uh, some limit, so they don't show values uh, more than, in this case, 400 uh, tons. Uh, but in fact, on the ground, you see we have some plots with uh, up to uh, 900 tons of uh, above ground biomass <coughs> and uh, all mm, mm, you see all this validation shows uh, quite far from one to one line means that uh, low biomass are overestimated and the high biomass underestimated and all the maps good and uh, uh, here is a few papers uh, where mm, our network is uh, discussed and here is uh, our data package which I mentioned <coughs> uh, with uh, 150 quarters uh, and already got uh, over 70 citations uh, means uh, people using this uh, work and as I said now with uh, uh, good funding we are looking forward to receive uh, uh, like much more data uh, for our <coughs> portal and be more uh, useful for uh, current and uh, coming space space missions and also I think it can be useful not only for uh, validation of uh, remote sensing data but also for calibrating models and, and so on <coughs> thank you